Ate, Apene. Good morning. Um, Seya, Ron, Garnanez in the Sige. Not often, and had seen in Slindo since the Cardney Bassist scene. But Lizard, she does it say, Dot, as she does a nudle. Hello, my name is Ron Garnanez. I'm from Oak Spring, Arizona. Um, <coughs> and um, <coughs> I raise sheep. I raise the Navajo churro sheep. Um, I'm, I'm a nurse also and work with the uranium miners. I also teach uh, uh, fiber art. <coughs> um, and I'm the uh, I'm the president of the Neh a nonprofit organization on the reservation, uh, run by Navajo shepherds, and uh, we go out and educate uh, on the traditional ways of living, uh, working with fiber. Um, so that's our, our, our work and we host uh, Sheep is Life celebration every summer, uh, the, the third week of June. But this year we were unable to do that due to the pandemic and we're planning for next year's um, celebration now. <coughs> and. Today I'm going to talk about the, the different weaving um, we do. Uh, weaving is, um, requires a lot of math and it requires science also to come out with the colors of your fleece. So I always tell the younger generation that their ancestors were great mathematician and scientists to come out with all these weaving. That's where you can see their intelligence. Um, <clears throat> for instance, um, we have a saddle blanket um, right here, and <clears throat> this is considered a, a single saddle blanket and how some of them had um, long tassels on one side and that was that would um, gently rub on the horse to to keep them calm and um, so it wouldn't be skittish also just just to have that um, constantly uh, massaging you. So this is a single saddle blanket. Um, <clears throat> and then this one here is a, 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 a double saddle blanket done in twill. Um, the first saddle blanket, um, you're warping. Uh, there's only two different sets that you're working with. Um, this one, the, 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 <coughs> the twill weave, uh, you're working with uh, anywhere from, um, I guess actually two to begin with also. You can uh, make twill weaving with the two set, but this one has four, four, four heddles. Uh, the other, the, the normal weaving will have two heddles. So the four heddles, um, this requires a lot of counting and um, no matter how much of an expert you get on this, you still um, get lost in it and have to count. Um, <coughs> the, our elders referred to this type of weaving as um, the, the foxtail or the, 
coyote tail um, design or um, dance, the, 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 the coyote tail dance. So that's referring to the, um, the, the fire dance that they have uh, in the winter where a group of dancers will come out and um, do all different patterns of um, their, their, their dancing. And this, this is, they said, that's where the count came from to create this type of weaving. And it's called a twill. And this is a double saddle blanket here. The, <clears throat> the dyes on here are all um, natural. Uh, the, the, the orangey color is from an elder tree. And then the red is from a cochinea. Um, I guess cochinea is uh, a bug, uh, a flea or tick that lives on cactus. So um, that's where the red color comes from. And this one is more of your natural colors, uh, no dye added to it. But the, <clears throat> the spin is a little thick, so this, this, this is a, a, a thicker um, blanket here. And uh, some of the twill weave will have 18 um, heddles. So you, we go from two heddle to 18 sometimes to create some of these. This was more of a child's blanket was done in this pattern. Um, and it, it, it'd be a little wider than this. And <clears throat> uh, the, name, the name that uh, they gave this one is, is called a Moki. Um, I guess the, the Hopis wove a lot of uh, this type of pattern, um, <clears throat> the stripes. So this, this is a, a child's wearing blanket. And the, and the blanket too, the, the blankets were woven wide. Um, and you, they didn't wear it the, the length way. They wore it the, the, uh, the width this way, across. Um, if you wear it like this, um, the stress that you put on um, will pull the yarn apart, your weaving apart. So if it's done, if it's worn um, across like this, the te it can take the tension much better. And this one here is your two gray hill uh, pattern. Um, two gray hill rugs are, uh, have no dye in it. It's all your natural um, sheep, wool, uh, earth tone. And um, with this, with this uh, pattern, it was an influence by the traders to have their local weavers weave this. So Two Gray Hill was uh, an area that excelled in this pattern. Um, and then uh, most of my weaving, uh, I have a story that goes with it. And um, <clears throat> one day, I, when I set this up, I have no idea what my pattern was going to be like. Um, I usually will uh, come up with a design uh, reminiscing of what my grandparents told me uh, of some of the creation stories. And uh, this one, uh, I was thinking of um, Changing Woman, the story of Changing Woman when she was leaving, when it was her time to leave. Uh, her people begged her to stay, but she said, no, it's my time now. I can't, I, I was just allowed to stay for so long, so it's time for me to leave. 
Um, so the 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 people wanted uh, her to leave something behind. Um, <clears throat> so what she told the people was, "I will be when you see a cloud up in the uh, up in the sky. That's me watching you. When a f fog forms on the top of the mountains." That's me coming to visit you. When a fog overtakes you, that's me hugging you. So I will really, I'm not really gone. So that's why there's a lot of white in this weaving is the clouds that she was referring to. And then uh, this, uh, the, the spider woman's cross is here. So that represents her and you. And uh, even though there's darkness, um, there's the, the, the lightness around it. The cloud is there where she's hugging you. And even this whole thing around it, too. So <clears throat> when you're a weaver or an artist, it's your story that sells, not you know, um, the pattern is really nice, but it's the story that people are really interested in. So always remember that. Um, <clears throat> and then um, this is just a pattern that I've seen over and over and over and over. And um, my great my grandmother uh, wove a lot of this pattern. So this is where I got <clears throat> uh, this. Uh, it flips back and forth. It cre creates many designs the more you look at it. So that's, that's our, one of our uh, original designs. And, and then this one is uh, a woman's blanket, a woman's wearing blanket. And um, if there was red in it, anywhere that makes it a chief blanket. The, the women's blanket were always the uh, earth tone color. And the crosses in these blankets represented her children. So, um, and the, the, the black and white um, are the, the day, the, the morning prayer, noon prayer, uh, evening prayer. And then, uh, and then there's uh, the four black, and which is your four directions. Um, <clears throat> so this is where, uh, how the designs uh, are thought up. And um, so this is all hand spun, and this has two heddles. Um, and then, and then your um, mantas. This is a, a, a dress, a manta. Um, <clears throat> the old, old, old way of their weaving their mantas were in the twill weaving. Uh, the old mantas were woven like this, and but in black. So imagine doing a twill weave in black, uh, uh, and no other color. Uh, talk about getting lost in it. Um, the reason why is it was worn day in and day out. It wasn't only worn for a wedding or a graduation party. Um, they, <clears throat> they wore it every day. So if it was woven with two heddles, um, they would uh, pull apart where the pressure is, like around your waist or, uh, or in your back. Um, pretty soon the weaving will start to pull apart because there's only two. And then with this, there's four and they're all stuck together and you can't pull you can't pull you know the, 
in one way or another. They're all holding each other. So they wore uh, well every day when they were woven in the twill style. <coughs> and, and then the, the traditional um, the traditional mantas were black or um, indigo blue. And they used the brown sheep um, wool to and dye them with the indigo. And um, that's how they got their dark colors. And then one last one here is also a two heddle. And this is um, called a ganado red. Um, <coughs> Even though the pattern looks like a two gray hill, but the, because of the red being in, uh, woven by red yarn, um, it becomes a ganado red. And it's an, uh, influenced by the trader at the ganado store. So that's, that's where their, uh, these pattern comes from. And then some of these are done also in twill weaving with the, the, the same pattern, but there'll be uh, these colors here will be twill. Um, and then you'll see um, pictorials also. And um, um, you, you must have had to have quite an imagination to do that. Um, freehand to weave pictorial. Um, <clears throat> and most of, uh, most of our weaving are, uh, like uh, most of my weaving is done by hand. Everything's processed by hand. The, the warping, um, nothing uh, comes from the store. I, my thinking is if my ancestors could have done this, uh, without stores and why can't I do the same thing today? So that's what I'm going by now. And the warps that they use way back were the, <clears throat> the bluish color, like this color here, these were their warp colors. Um, they're called blue sheep and that's why they valued blue sheep is for the warping um, the warping was never white. Um, the warping represents uh, rain. So when you have a, a, a blue sheep warp uh, standing, it looks like a, a burst of thundercloud is coming towards you. So they, <clears throat> the white warp is uh, also a trader's influence um, because uh, I guess the demand from the customers. And um, <clears throat> so these are some of the uh, patterns of our weaving and our style of weaving. And a lot of weaving are uh, regional. Different regions um, have like the, um, the storm pattern, Tuba City has that, um, the Tisnas bus, uh, uh, rug, um, <clears throat> so they all have their own patterns and their colors too seem to be regional also. And <clears throat> I, uh, some regions they they go into these bright bright colors. <clears throat> weaving uh, Navajo weaving is um, your private ceremony, the beauty way or the blessing way. And their chants are done. The blessing away chants. So if you're having a hard time uh, you, uh, trying to weave and yet you, you like to do it and there's something in the way there. Uh, so now, like I said, Navajo weaving is your own private ceremony. So it's a prayer that you're doing so if you're not in that state of mind, then it won't show you how to do it. So 
Um, a prayer helps to get you started um, and uh, even to form your own pattern. It'll show you uh, what patterns to make. So <clears throat> my advice would be to to get out of your physical world and step into your spiritual world and that way it, it becomes easy.